Hello. Mm, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Mm -hmm. What are you doing these days since you are on holiday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what's the nicest thing that happened to you this weekend? Hmm? What's the nicest thing that happened to you this weekend? Yeah. This thing is uh, I what I am uh, I over school and uh, I now I can uh, can relax and do and, and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now look at this picture. So what do you think this girl is writing about in the letter? What do you think is she writing about? Uh -huh. Okay, you've got half a minute to read through and check your guess. So, were you right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now let's have a look at question one. Has Alice bought a present for her mom, for herself, for Kyla, or for Joe? Mm -hmm. Who did she buy the present for? For okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. And now, so let's have a look at the underlined sentences and guess what? Do they all have in common? Mm -hmm. So what do all of these have in common? No ideas. No? No. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, in this case, let's try, let's go boasting. So, Tell me something 
tell me a few things why you are proud of yourself. So, for example, I am proud because I have passed a Cambridge University exam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, next, I'm very happy because um, my mom has bought a cat. We have got a cat. Also, um, we have cooked paella and we'll have a nice party after we finish our lesson. Uh, one more thing is that my dad has repaired repaired my cell phone. So these are a few things. Ah, yes, but I'm very unhappy because my cat has broken a vase. And now, so what about you? Tell me what, uh, what makes you happy? What makes you happy? What I... Mm. What I born the uh, nice ways, uh, not really, but, but it's quite nice. Uh, uh, sorry, okay. I have. I have what? Born is nice boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have bought nice phones, yeah? Born in nice place. Ah, oh, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I have been, oh, 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 been born in a nice place. Aha, uh -huh. what else? What uh, I meet the uh, cool uh, people uh, mm -hmm. because I'm because I'm I am using internet and playing games. Okay, I have met cool people on the net. Good. Uh huh. What else? Mm -hmm. I think it's have a good parents. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, have you won any competitions? Uh, maybe or. Mm -hmm. What? What competitions have you won? Maybe some physical school competitions. I uh, 
Okay. Okay. And how long have you been out of school? How long have you been out of school? About uh, <laughs> I think about uh, a year and a half. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, for about a year, yeah. Okay, now, look at our sentences. Why are they similar? What do they have in common? What do they have in common? Uh, I have, I see. Mm -hmm. not, not only I have, look, here we've got my mom has, we have, my dad has, my cat has. So. It's in the past. No. It's in the past, okay. But do we know exactly when this happens? Do we know exactly when this happened? Hmm? Uh -huh. So do we know exactly when this happens? No. No. Do we know when this happens? Hmm? When did I pass Cambridge exam? Huh? Hello, can you hear me? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Hmm? 
Alec. So let's continue and let's have a look at our board. Yeah. What do these sentences have in common? What do these have in common? Что общего? They are all say about uh, about some I see uh, they are common because uh, they have uh, words like fast boat, cook, repair, boat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's have a look at when these things happen. So imagine this is now, yeah, this is present moment. So when uh, did I pass a Cambridge exam? Is it somewhere here? Is it here? Um, no. No. Is it here? Yes. Yes. So somewhere in the past, yeah? And do we know exactly when this happened? No. No. Okay. Um, is it somehow connected with the present moment? Is there a connection, like a link between this moment and present. Is there a connection? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh -huh. I, I, I don't know truth, but I, I think it's uh, not connected. Aha, uh -huh. okay, then let's try to continue these sentences. So, uh, for example, I have won a few sport competitions. Try to continue and What can we say? I won a few competitions and at the now I like sport. Mm hmm. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. For example, I have been out of school for about a year and now I conquer to go uh, study at home mm -hmm. and I know yeah how to study at home mm-hmm mm -hmm. Or, uh, for example, I can say, my dad has repaired the cell phone and I can use it. And I can use it. Or, um, <laughs> I have passed the Cambridge exam and here is my certificate. Here is my certificate, yeah? So is there a connection? Is there a link 
between yeah. yes exactly exactly that's it that's it mm -hmm. so like something happened in the past we don't know exactly when yeah and because of this past something is happening right now mm -hmm. Uh, so, do you remember the name of this tense? How do we call it? No? How do we call it? It's called present perfect. Yeah? It's called present perfect. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do we form it? Look at the example sentences. How do we form it? <laughs> no, how do we form it? No. Uh, um, we have uh, uh, we have uh, this, um, yes. so we have this have has yeah have has and what is this past what worked repaired broken yes this is a verb and what form of the verb what form of the verb? Uh, past, uh, simple. Now, uh, broken. Is it a past simple form? Mm -mm. This is past participle, the third form. Mm -hmm. So we start with the subject, with the who, yeah? Then we have this has have, yeah? Then we have this, the third verb form, yeah? The third form, the third form which is either ed ending yeah or you have to learn it yeah? and all the other parts all the other parts of the sentence mm -hmm. right object manner place time and if we want to make a negative, where do we put not? Hmm? We put not uh, after FS. Yeah, exactly. That's here. Mm -hmm. That's here. And if we want to make a question, what do we do? We 
Yeah, exactly. We start with have has. Great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now let's go back here. Yeah. So uh, there is a uh, look, what are all these sentences I've underlined? I'll underline them again. Look, we've been in Manchester since 9.30. We've been to every shoe shop. Mom has tried on. She hasn't bought any. So what are all these? What are all these sentences? What are all these sentences? Mm -hmm. These all are present perfect, yeah? These are all present perfect. Okay, and now, if we have a look at two words, since and for, yeah? So what's the difference? Look, again, I'll underline the word combinations, yeah? Since 9.30, mm -hmm. Since we got here and for for an hour So what's the difference between since and for? No. What's this? Since and for. Do we use since with a point in time or a period of time? Hmm? Do we use since with a period of time or a point of time? Huh? I think um, very since with period. Look again, since nine o'clock, since we got here. So since plus a point of time, yeah? Look, again, uh, if we move on to uh, here, yeah? 
So uh, we can say, let's let's have a look at this. Uh -oh. So look, here we've got uh, now, yeah, this is, this is now, yeah? If we have since 9.30, for example, so where is 9.30? Is it here? Is it here? Or is it here? Hmm? Here or here? On the right or on the left? Hello. Left, exactly. This is it, yeah? So this is 9.30. And since this time, since 9.30, yeah, you've, uh, for example, she's been shopping since 9.30. So like all this time, yeah? So this will be since 9.30. But we say for. So what do we use it with? Do we use it with a period or a point in time? Look, so when we use for, yeah, we can say that it started somewhere here. We don't know this moment, yeah? But we know this period this period is, for example, two hours. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, sorry. And then we can say this for two hours. Uh huh. Right? So since with a period of time and for with a longevity, yeah? Got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now uh, another thing. Ah, so let's practice it, yeah? You have to put it here, since or for. So I haven't seen my best friend six months. Mm -hmm. So what should it be? I haven't seen my best friend. Uh, about uh, six months. No, for or since? Mm, for. For six months. Great. That's with a period. Yeah. Okay. I've been at the school.
Mm -hmm. So what is that? I haven't been at this school. Right, right. We've got this point of time, yeah? So it is since, okay. Okay, next, I've been in this room. Yes, exactly. That's a period for half an hour. Uh huh. I haven't eaten. It seems. Mm hmm. Since seven thirty. Yeah. Uh huh. I've known my best friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a point of time and I've lived in this town. Um, for four ten years very good for ten years okay great so uh another thing uh you should concentrate uh, on yeah is gone and been gone to and been to yeah so, for example, um, imagine uh, you go for a walk with your doggy, yeah? And when you come back, your mom is not at home. And you ask your dad, like, oh, dad, where's mom? And he says, uh, oh, mom has gun shopping. Yeah. And next, see, so this is for has gun, yeah, has gun shopping. But another situation when you uh, come back from school, for example, yeah, and you see your mom has got a new hairstyle and you hairdo, yeah? And you ask her, oh, mom, you've got a new hairdo? And she says, yes, I have been to the hairdressers. So what's the difference? If you say have been to, I have been to, are you in that place now? No. No, exactly. But are there any results of your being there? Are there any results? Why did you know that your mom went to the hairdresser? Uh, uh, yes, there yeah, are yeah. results, yeah? yeah? And if you say have gone to, have gone to, are you at home? 
No. 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 Okay. Uh, well, and now let's have a look here. So what they ask us to do is put the verb in the correct present perfect form here. So, hi, Alice. Uh, have you left? Have you left? Left, yeah. Have you left? Mm -hmm. No, I'm still there. I I <laughs> Yes, I have finished. Mm -hmm. uh. Did you buy anything? Uh -huh. Did you buy? Maybe. But if you want to use present perfect. Have you? Have you? Bought. Yeah, have you bought? Have you bought? Mm -hmm. Okay. I I found. Mm, not exactly. I have found, yeah, present perfect. I have found a few little things, uh huh. Next, number five. I have, have not spent. Yes, I haven't spent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you bored? No, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I have sent. Yeah, I have sent. Mm -hmm. Let's have lunch. I have E ten. Mm -hmm. I have lunch. I have had. Yeah. I have had lunch. This would be present perfect. I have had lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and now let's move on to some grammar here. Just a moment. Uh-huh. 
So the same thing, yeah? Complete the text messages. So Lakeside Shopping Center is great. I? I, I, Have tried on, have tried on. Yeah. Uh -huh. The question in number two. Have you bought? Yeah, exactly. Have you bought anything? Uh huh. No, I. Yeah, no, I haven't. I must be careful. Spend. Yeah, I have yeah. spent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is mom with you? No, she isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Has te can yeah has taken the car uh huh to the garage okay. Yes, has your dad phoned you? Has your dad phoned you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I. I haven't speak. Mm -mm, not speak. I haven't. Spoke. Spoken, spoken, mm -hmm. okay, but I have sent, yeah, have sent, mm -hmm. I Uh -huh. I have tidied. Great. Now, uh, here are five verbs. Yeah. Uh, let's make sentences with them. Whether you have or have not done it. So first, listen to me and try to guess what's true, what's false. So if I say, one, I have not bought anything today. Two, I have eaten an egg today. Three, I have read uh, 10 pages of books today. Four, I haven't watched any films today. 
and five, I haven't written any emails today. So which two sentences are true, uh, false? Which two are false? Mm, one is false. No, one is true. I really haven't bought anything today. And four is true. I really haven't watched any films today. But I have written a few emails and I have written 15 pages of books, not 10. Okay, now you. I know as we gave both changes on the other three sub 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 three both of Five hundred people. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Uh, I have eaten. I have eaten. Uh, and I have eaten. I haven't eaten the the ice cream very long. Mm -hmm. I I have made, uh, I have read just one book to the end in my life. Mm -hmm. mm. I I have watched uh, a TV uh, 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 about Months ago, mm -hmm. today, today I'm very lazy and haven't tried uh, to my uh, net friends. Mm -hmm. So, I think number three is false, that you have only read one book. Yes. And maybe number five is false. I think you have written to your friends today. Yes, but I'm already late today. Uh, okay, good. And now let's have a look at this. Been or gone, yeah? Have you been or have you gone? So, where's everybody? They have? Uh, gone home. Yeah, they have gone home. Why? Because. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Week long. Yes, I be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I been. Yeah, great. Gone. Yeah. Uh huh. And finally, been. where have you been all day? Yes. Okay. So, uh, what's the most useful thing you learned today? Mm hmm. I think the most useful was what I repeat what I mean uh rest mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Uh and what was the easiest thing today? I think the one is, uh, the last. Uh -huh. Yeah, the last last is gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so any questions? No, no. No. Okay, then see you later. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bye. Good night.